Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. She is finally here, Mishka. We've got her in the game. Uh, we should get the trial tomorrow, so I'm definitely pumped to test her out. Uh, we're going to check out her actual skills uh, with the multipliers and all that. She looks pretty nice, and I, I don't know whether I'm just blinded by the fact that I just love the design of the character. Um... But, like, I actually like the skills. I don't think she's the most broken, but I'm hoping she's going to be at least viable so that we can get some good fun out of her. So, let's go through the skills. The first one, Warbear. Mishka transforms into a Warbear and jumps into the densest area of enemies, dealing 250% damage to surrounding enemies as she hits the ground, knocking them into the air and stunning them for 5 seconds. That does skill up to 6 seconds. 250% additional damage is also dealt to the center enemy heroes. After hitting the ground, Mishka lets out a terrifying growl, which reduces enemy's defense uh, by 30% for 8 seconds. Uh, and that goes up to 40% with skill ups. Uh, this effect cannot be stacked. Uh, Mishka is also uh, is able to ignore and is immune to all control effects while in Warbear form. Now, she's not in Warbear form for very long, so don't think it's like she's going to be immune for ages. You'll see when we see the animations, it goes pretty quickly. But the fact that she gets that um, the defense rating decrease and the damage and the stun, it's pretty nice. Next up, it's a passive. Mishka fights with two wolves by her side. I love the wolves. You, you can... Ah. So excited. The wolves possess 150% of Mishka's attack rating and 50% of all her other attributes. Uh, when a wolf attacks an enemy, they will mark the enemy with a feral bite mark, which lasts for 10 seconds. Each time Mishka deals damage to a marked enemy, she will deal additional damage equal to 5% of the enemy's current health, but the damage shall not exceed 300% of Mishka's attack rating. Now, this gets a lot better um, because the other attributes goes to 80% and attack rating of the wolves goes to 200% of hers and the additional damage gets increased to 10% of her current health, but also they do double the scaling to 600% of the attack. So really, really nice. Really nice. So she's got these two wolves, both with 200% of her attack, attacking with her, um, putting these marks on that's going to make her deal 10% of their uh, current health, which is really, really nice. I really do like it. Anyway, moving on from that. Uh, Call of the Wild. Mishka's wolf spirit... Uh, <laughs> Mishka's wolves sprint over to the enemy target and grip onto them, causing them to be unable to move or use abilities, marking them with feral bite mark in the process. I read that terribly, but hey, I suck at reading. Mishka then slashes the enemy three times, dealing 220% damage per attack, with the final attack knocking them down and stunning them for two seconds. Uh, when one of Mishka's wolves dies, the number of attacks reduced to two. When both wolves are dead, uh, the ability cannot be used. Uh, damage to each attack goes up to 300%, which is pretty nice. Um, and then damage of each attack is increased to 500% if the enemy is using a shield. So a little buff, it's not going to be too vital, um, but that is going to be from the engraving that bit there. Next one. Mishka pours a healing resin over herself and her wolves that heal... Uh, a value equal to 150% of her attack rating and also provides a shield that exists for 6 seconds which is able to mitigate damage worth 300% of Mishka's attack rating. Shield value increased to 330%, uh, shield value increased to 360% of Grizzul's attack. There you go. So you have to have Grizzul in the team to actually get this. I think that's just a typo. I'm sure it's supposed to say Mishka's. Um, but this is the big one. This is the engraving, and I think her engraving could be incredibly strong, depending on how just strong she is in general and how meta she is. But all allied heroes receive healing and are shielded. So that's a pretty good passive when you're actually healing all allies and shielding all allies. Like, that ain't bad. Um, it's a lot of investment to get there. We might have to try it on Kiasma. Anyway, moving on from that, we have the signature item. When Mishka's uh, ultimate ability ends, she receives 30% less, 30% uh, damage reduction for eight seconds. If this ability is used again, while the damage reduction effects are still present, its effect and duration will be reset. Allied heroes attacking enemies marked with Feral Bite deal an extra 15 and then 30% extra damage, which is nice. So you're just getting a lot of extra damage on that one target that she's really focusing on. Um, 
Each enemy that is knocked into the air by Mishka's ultimate ability increases the percentage of damage reduction by an additional 10%. Additional damage can be increased to a maximum of 40%. So I think that's, that's like increased by a maximum of 40%. So we have 40% as the base. So I think she can actually get a maximum of 80% damage mitigation after she uses her ult. Don't quote me, that's how I understand it. Um, otherwise, it's it's a pointless ability. So I think it can go up to 80% uh, if she does hit four enemies. Then we have the furniture. 50% of the damage dealt by Mishka's wolves is converted into, uh, into her health, which is nice. Uh, considering there's two wolves and each of them have 200% of her attack, it's not too bad. Uh, each time a wolf dies, Mishka's energy is immediately replenished. So she gets to ult every time they die. Um, and her attack rating is increased by 20% and her attack speed is increased by 25 points for the remainder of the battle. So she can basically get an extra 40% attack and 50 um, attack speed when, they, when they're both dead. But keep in mind, each time one of them dies, she gets a free ult as well. Getting that control, getting that damage mitigation. I think she's going to be pretty savage. I think she's going to be pretty savage. Um, I feel like grouping enemies up is going to be really handy. So I'm thinking like, you know, things like chicken and queen, obviously chickens, obviously the base one we always go to, but anything that can sort of group things up, um, uh, Moriel, the, the, the celestial chick, maybe her thing could help with it. I don't know. I think grouping up is going to be really nice. So I just want to do a recap of what she actually has. Cause I feel like her kit has a lot in it. So. We've got a defense break, an AoE defense break. We've got an AoE six second stun, even though it's short range. Um, we've got percentage health damage, well, current health damage, which is nice. We've also got another stun on this ability. Um, and then we also have a whole team heal and shield, which is really, really nice in my opinion. I feel like it's pretty solid. Anyway, let's go into a trial and take a look and have a see because dude i'm so excited for this character so let's jump in here let's put it on auto we'll leave it on one time speed so you can sort of see you can see the two wolves pin them down and then she does that last attack where she goes bear like um and there's that heal with the shield there's the ult looks absolutely savage and then she roars so she's immune to cc for that period while she's wait just this period here so from now until the end of the roar, she's immune to CC. But I mean, it's it's cool. Is is this not like one of the coolest characters? If you if you do not love this hero, that's cool. I don't care because I do. <laughs> is basically what I'm saying here. So looking absolutely savage. I am just so excited for this. It's not even funny. So let's exit out of that. Let's jump in here and have a look. So uh, what I want to test is. But if we test her like here, I don't even know where I want to test her in this one. Um, if we just bring a bunch of tanks and heals, just so like she can try and have it. Actually, we might have to bring the Nara on you just to get that out of the way. Let's just try this. I just, I just want to like have her like try and make her the damage dealer. Like, it, And once again, these things scale funny, so it's hard to actually tell um, if it's viable. Like obviously endgame is going to be its own thing. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, these are the Isabella's obviously going to be an issue in that. Okay, I thought I thought we had it with Nara. Uh, clearly we didn't. So let's go here. Maybe we can just root that there. Maybe we bring a Desira, try and land those fears in time. I think we still put the Nara there. Do we have another Graveborn? Let's put Thar in there. And then let, let's go with Rose. Oh, who does? Surely Rosaline follows her. Surely that's a thing. Okay, if we get, if we can spam ult, it'd be really nice. Oh, we got feared. We we almost we almost killed that. Um, what's his face? Yeah, she should ult as soon as she gets out of the fear. Let's see, we got that mitigation. Nice. Get another ult. Get some more damage mitigation in here. Okay, we're stacked on that Brutus, which kind of sucks. Where, where's where's the healing resin? Where's the healing resin? Where that healing resin at, guys? Guys, where's the healing resin? Man, I hate Brutus so much. You always just end up just stacking on a Brutus. We need that need them wolves to heal. So the healing didn't seem too too high that she was self healing. So that'll come down to more testing to see the self healing. I once again I, I'm never sure when that's the only kind of combat we have. Damage wasn't insane even with the Rosaline following. So the damage is a bit lackluster. 
Oh, is she going to be bad? I don't know. I feel like she's tanky. She's got some good control. She's got the defense break. Even if she doesn't have crazy damage, I'm hoping we can get some goodness out of her. Did spend a long time jumping into that Brutus, so... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm still really excited. I don't care. Amazing, amazing character design. You cannot argue that. It is so fantastic. The double wolves look savage. I'm just excited, guys. So we'll definitely, we will definitely do a lot of testing on her because, like I said, best hero in the game by far. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.